Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly discussion on matters of faith. Joining us this morning is Alan Eldridge. He's a minister at Regency Church of Christ, and thank you so very much for joining us this morning, sir. Thank you, Chad, for having me. All right, one of the things that we're going to be talking about this morning is the seminar that your church has coming up called Relationships Matter. Give us the gist of this. What is the plan that you plan to do next week? Well, we called it Relationships Matters because we're going to deal with trying to strengthen marriages, trying to improve parenting skills, dealing with some personal issues that people have to deal with in our culture today. So issues like, you know, pornography and those kinds of things. So it is a, I think, I think deals with the broad area here. And I think that's why we wanted to entitle it Relationships Matter. Tell us a little bit about the speakers that you have coming up because right. they come from an interesting background. Right. They both come from uh, marriages that ended. That's right. Uh, Jerry Jones, uh, his first marriage ended after 35 years. His wife passed away. Uh, Lynn, uh, the lady speaker, uh, her marriage ended in divorce after 23 years. So I think they bring some, some fresh perspective there because if you've gone through the death of a spouse, I think Jerry can certainly speak to that. If perhaps you've gone through a recent divorce, then I think Lynn can address that issue as well and hopefully give you some help in dealing with that. And I think it takes a certain amount of courage to even come to a seminar like this because in order to do that you have to acknowledge that uh, marriages and relationships aren't just about a pairing of two people but they are in a sense work that you have to do. It, there's no doubt about it and I think what they will try to emphasize is that I think the three the three C's that it takes you know commitment communication and crisis resolution because we're going to have some crises how can we resolve those in a creative way but if we really are committed if we're open to communication because two of the sessions are please listen to me and that is such an important important you know aspect of, of marriage and parenting you know in all areas and I would argue that's one of the, the hardest parts because a lot of times in a relationship in a marriage we, we want to get our own point across and we're not really listening to that other person how do you develop those skills I think it just takes it takes some time and it takes some you know looking at what we believe the, the word says you know to that but I think if we can improve in those areas, and I think we can make our marriages stronger, I think we'll be more effective parents, and I think we can just help in all relationships. You know, work relationships, uh, recreation relationships. You know, that's, that, it's important to have good communication skills in all of those areas. And one of the things we should mention uh, that we were talking about before we started this was that this is not just for people in marriages. This right. is for young people in relationships. Why do you want to open it up to a broader group of people, not just people who are married? Because we believe that's where it has to start. I think as, as young people begin the dating process, I think they need some tools to help them to develop that relationship. And so I think that's where it starts. And I think if you can build that good, solid foundation, then I think there is help or hope you know, for that relationship to continue. One of the topics that will be discussed next uh, week, next weekend, uh, is God's ideal marriage. And I, I know you're not the speaker for this, but what are some examples or some hallmarks of what would be considered an ideal marriage in God's eyes? Well, I believe it would be just uh, uh, recognizing that uh, if one could recognize that certainly the Bible you know, encourages us to, for the wives to be submitted to the husbands, but then for the husbands to love their wives as Christ loved the church. And I've often said to husbands, if you love your wife as Christ loved the church, she will have no problem submitting to you as the Word instructs her to do. So I think it's combining those two important elements of loving as He loved and then having that respect, you know, for the one that you are with. So I think both of those together, I think, would help create. Now, I don't know what the ideal marriage is, uh, Chad, but... Who does? Uh, yeah, who does, that's right. But I think that is, that's a starting place. All right, we want to definitely get the plug in there, uh, share the graphic that this will be starting on August the 14th at Regency Church of Christ at your church on University Boulevard. Also, it will be free of charge, and it'll start on next Sunday, but people can come to any day they wish. Any day they wish. So it starts Sunday at 9 o'clock. We'll have 9 and 10, 3, 4, 6, and 7. Sunday will be our full day, free child care, free meal, So, and then Monday through Wednesday. All right, News 5 this morning will continue after the break.